Physical activity and sedentary behavior in adults with persistent post-concussion symptoms. Can you guys guess what happens here? Uh, those that are sedentary have worse symptoms than those that are physically active and kind of goes in line with everything, right? So uh, inclusion criteria, these are people that were referred to a specific clinic. So because anytime there's a referral, you have to be worried about selection bias. Are they referring a particular type of patient, et cetera, et cetera. This may not be generalizable as they say to every PCS patient, but anyway, it's a, it's a subset. So 18 to 65 years old, uh, they had PCS for greater than three months, but less than five years. So a big, big, big range. Um, prior to being seen in the clinic, they were asked to complete a series of standardized questionnaires. So they did a uh, time physical exercise questionnaire. They did a rapid assessment disuse index, uh, looking at sedentary behavior, quality of life after brain injury questionnaire, and they did a Rivermead symptom questionnaire. Uh, they collected all their information at the first visit. Um, and uh, for both pre, whoops. For both pre and post injury self reported physical activity, they used 150 minutes per week as the cutoff. So if you, you were getting greater than 150 minutes per week, which is the recommended amount, uh, you were in the you know, physically active category. If you're getting less, you were in the not physically active category or more sedentary. So in a typical week pre injury, so they were they asked them about their pre injury status. In a typical week pre injury, 85% of the participants reported meeting physical activity guidelines compared to only 28% of the participants post-injury. And again, this probably comes down to the old myth that when you have a concussion, you should rest. Um, and so it's probably just the information that they're given. Those participants who reported meeting physical activity guidelines post-injury were significantly associated with lower headache, lower fatigue, lower depression, and lower anxiety scores. 94 participants went from meeting the pre-injury to not meeting post-injury physical activity guidelines, those in this group that were normally active and shut down had significantly lower quality of life, higher headaches, higher depression, higher fatigue compared to um, their, their, those that were um, meeting it, those that continue to meet it pre and post injury. Post injury sedentary behavior was significantly associated with higher symptoms, fatigue, depression, and anxiety scores. So again, First thing, PCS, this is our number one, put them on the treadmill, right? And then get them doing a structured exercise program.